In this video we do exactly same thing what we did one year ago. The last video where I tested different water pump impellers has now more than 1 million views, which is a lot. That time when I was recording this video I had less than 100 subscribers. It's have been a long way. Oh my gosh. Looking this video now, it's absolute trash. This design I have used before and I know this performed well. But how well next to the others? This is what we see really soon. So here is the remake of this video. Enjoy. Let's speak about impellers what we are going to test in this video. I designed and print 6 different water bump impellers. All of them are different but I tried to make this apple versus apple comparison as much as possible. All of those have 4 blades and the impellers diameter is 62mm. 3 of them have curved blades and rest of the 3 don't. But let's look every single one a bit closer. This blue one over here. In the last video this performed the best. This impeller design is really simple. Just two straight lines crossing each other. The green impeller. Well let's look green and red at the same time. They are really similar. Um, those two have also straight lines but they are not crossing the middle point of the impeller and are at a slight angle. The only difference between those two is how far away the blades are from the impeller center. Let's now take a look at the curved impellers and start with black one. Those blades don't start at the center of the impeller and the blades are going thicker. This is probably the most popular impeller design. Oh and by the way this impeller is printed with really high quality filament from longer. I am really happy how prints turn out with this filament. Yes in this video I printed only this impeller but for the next video I printed a bit more complicated um, thing. What this is I won't tell you yet and this turns out just amazing. Price point is really nice also. If you are interested of high quality PLA filament, I leave link down below, I hope you will try this. And now let's look at those remaining two again together. Those are also really similar. Plates start from the center, plates are same thick and both curves. But the only difference here is how they curve. The grey blades start with a straight line and then start curving. And the yellow one is exactly opposite, start with curving and ends with a straight line. For me it's really interesting to see will this make a difference and if so how much. I'm really looking forward to see those results but first we have to build a water pump. For this we need obviously 3D printed parts. If you wanna build this by yourself all STL files are free at the down below. All grey parts are printed with PLA. The gasket, this black thing, is printed with TPU and the front lead which is transparent is printed with ABS. But this wasn't always like this, after printing it was clearly not clear. So I sanded this from 120 grit up to 500 grit wet sanding and after this I clear coated it. And now, well this is nothing what you will get from the resin printer, but still better than non-transparent. Ok back to the build, we need a 775 DC motor, well actually I am using the exactly same one that I used in the last video one year ago, just because there is this cut on the motor shaft. In this channel it's a little tradition that all water bump leaks but this one will be a bit different. To change that I am using two o-rings, one for the motor shaft and two for the bolts. Attaching motor and water bump body together is nothing more than lining up holes and screwing two M4 bolts in. Installing impeller, because the motor shaft has this cut, just push, <laughs> yes. I put a really thin layer of grease on the side of the water bump body to make this even more waterproof. I really take this leaking thing seriously. Ok now let's put everything together. Ok the bump is ready and it's time to start testing. Really quickly I explained this setup for the first test. Like you see I filled up one plastic container with water. Through the one side of the plastic container came out PVC tube what is connected with the water bump inlet. Power for the water bump I will take from the fully charged car battery. So how I will measure the bump pumping power? It's really simple. Here is another plastic container that is on the weight. And yeah, <laughs> that's all. Just be noted, we will not measure efficiency, we measure which impeller performs the best. But ok, let's get started. The first one, blue impeller. <laughs> Leaking. Ok, 
it's leaking, but it works pretty well. Let's now measure how fast this impeller pumps 4 liters of water. Well actually I will pump 5 liters, but I measure only the last 4. This first liter is for a pump can nicely start up. So I will start the timer when the weight hit 1 kilograms. This footage, uh, pretty hard to see those numbers, my camera angle was wrong. The next ones are fixed. Eleven point seven seconds. Best result so far. Next one, the green impeller. This one has a bit problems to getting started. Let's see how well it does for the test. Sixteen point six seconds, not really impressive. Now, red impeller. Red Impeller going to the second place with 12.3 seconds. Let's now move to the curved impellers. And the first one what we will test is the black one. This one didn't wanna get started also, but when it finally did, it seems to work really well. But let's measure exactly how well. Twelve point seven seconds, only zero point four seconds more than the red one. Moving to the third place. Let's continue with the grey impeller. Eighteen point five seconds and moving to the last place. Next one is yellow impeller. Outside got too dark and they continued the next day. Clean a start so far, I can tell you that. Thirteen point seven seconds. 
We will do one test more, but let's take a quick look at the results so far. The blue impeller did the best result, which didn't surprise me really. The red impeller is second and black third. Those two are really close to each other. Then comes yellow, one second behind the black one. The last two positions are green and grey. They are really behind the others. The reason for that? They need more time to start. That's why we will run one test more, where I give more time to getting nicely started. So the next test look like that. First I grab the line where I will stop the timer. From that line I fill this box with more 20 liters of water. Then I drop the line for the start. After that I fill this box with even more water. And I bring the new nozzle what has twice bigger diameter than the last one. Oh and this time I will test them opposite order. But ok, let's get started. And the green impeller changed color a bit. I go accidentally break this and I didn't have this filament anymore. The last test result is a bit different, and also way closer. This time winner is yellow impeller, and the second, grey, what was at the last place before. In the third, fourth and fifth place are all not curved impellers, and they did almost same result. And what surprised me, in the last place is the black impeller, what did pretty well in the last test. But yeah, those are the test results today. I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna build this water pump by yourself, I leave all necessary links down below. I hope you have pushed the subscribe and like button also. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.